Hi, I'm Roger Wakefield, the responsible master plumber for Texas Grain Plumbing right here in Richardson, Texas. I'm reaching out to you today because your plumbing license and my plumbing license are on the line. It doesn't matter whether you are a master plumber, a journeyman plumber, a tradesman, or an apprentice. What has happened in the 86th legislature is it going to affect all of us. Now, the Texas State Board of Plumbing Examiners, if you hadn't seen the letter from Lisa Hill, it's gone. As of September the 1st, there is no more license. There is no more plumbing license law. There are no more board rules. So September the 1st of 2019, we actually start looking at cities and municipalities for what they want to do to protect the people of Texas. And I've talked to some of these inspectors. I've talked to some of the cities. And guys, they're not ready for this. So it's going to be up to you and me and other plumbers in Texas to do the things that we need to do to try to find out what we can do to protect our license. So let's start off by saying June the 14th at 11 o'clock, Mary Conjure has helped put together, or, or actually she has really put together, a rally on the Capitol for the Texas plumbing license. And there's a hashtag, it's hashtag 71K Plum Strong. And there's actually a website, texaslicensedplumbers.com. And you can email her or somebody at Texans, Texas Licensed Plumbers at gmail.com. So, guys, there's ways to get information, but here's what we're looking at. This meeting or this rally on September the 14th at 11 o'clock. And I was contacted today by Local 100 here in Dallas. I know that they're renting uh, charter buses to carry people down there. And I've talked to the locals in San Antonio and Houston. I know that they are endorsing this and trying to get people there. But I also want to tell you, yesterday I had a meeting with Mary, Robert Renfro, uh, Bobby Duran, William Herberger, uh, Asa Womack, Dustin DeWeese, uh, Steve Harmon, and I think there were one or two others there. Guys, this is not a union versus non-union. It is not a commercial versus residential. It is not a new construction versus service. We're all in this together. If you have a plumbing license, if you have a registration card, if you have an inspector's card, you have anything like that in your pocket, this affects you. And, and I say that because, you know, I put a video out saying, look, we won because we did not go under TDLR. And guys, we did not want to go under TDLR. We, if you talk to most of the plumbers, and if you went down to Austin as many times as I did and talked to, you know, PHCC, uh, the union, non-union, it didn't matter who you talked to. We all thought that being under the Texas State Board of Plumbing Examiners would be the best thing for us. And I still feel that way. Now, don't get me wrong. I've met Brian Francis with TDLR. He is the executive director. Guys, he's, he's a great guy. I just don't think that the way it's set up right now that TDLR would be the best thing for us. Now, what has Patty done? He, he's put us in a position where TDLR may be our only option. I know that there are going to be meetings in Austin on November the 13th that could affect us because PHCC, the union, a lot of these big entities are getting together to try to figure out, look, what can we do? And I really like this because I've had plumbers contact me from across the country. I've had PHCC plumbers from Nevada, from New York, from Washington State. I have had unions from Washington State, uh, from Florida, and from Texas. I've, I've talked to most of the unions in Texas. I've lot, talked to a lot of open shop plumbers in Texas. I get emails and messages every day 
either on my YouTube channel or emails or phone calls saying, hey, look, I'd like to know what's going on with my plumbing license. And guys, we can get a lot of information right here online at www.texaslicensedplumbers.com. And Mary Condra has done really well in putting together the correct information. There's a lot of misinformation out there. And I will tell you all this about going to the Capitol. Number one, guys, this is the capital of the state of Texas. So we're all going to ask you all to be respectful of that property. Be respectful of the people there. This is not, you know, and, and guys, I see Facebook. I see the things that a lot of people are doing. We're, we're bashing people. We're, we're saying, hey, we need to, you know, form a circle around our house and not let them in. We need to pour concrete down our sewer. I have seen some crazy things. Guys, we don't need that. Now, I'm not real happy with, with Governor Abbott. I'm not real happy with Representative Patty. And, guys, I've called the governor's office. I have called and talked to his advisors. And, you know, nobody wants what's unsafe for the state of Texas. But I think the way that Patty did things, that's what we've got. So now we've kind of got to look at it and say, what can we do to make it better? Because this is not just us. This is not just our license. I've had a plumbing license for almost 40 years. But the problem is, if we don't do something, come September the 1st, all of this falls on the cities. And it's going to be up to the cities to try to figure out what to do. And guys, some of the cities that I've talked to say they're not ready for it. So my thing to you is, number one, pay attention to what's going on. This is your license and this is my license. And what we need to do is we all need to work together. PHCC, the union, they're working together. Commercial and residential, they're working together. Guys, we can all work together. It doesn't matter if it's union, non-union, none of that pays any part in it right now. The fact is we all want to keep our plumbing license and we all want what is best for the homeowners and the people of the state of Texas. So my thing to you is please go to the website, texaslicensedplumbers.com. If you have any questions, please send an email to texaslicensedplumbers at gmail.com. If you post stuff about this event, please use the hashtag 71K Plum Strong. And guys, if you take the time to reach out to the governor's office, please do so in a polite and respectful way. We need to work with these people. We don't need to try to fight them, cuss them, call them names, and upset them. We need to work with them. And like I told y'all, look, I'm being contacted by people across the United States. And they're contacting the governor's office, too. And we're all trying to do this professionally and politely, like the professional plumbers that we are. So I'm going to ask you, please think about that whenever you come down to the Capitol. And if you take time to go onto Facebook, please go to Mary Conjure's page. Please go to some of Robert Renfro's pages and put some information in there that you think will help. We're putting out a video Wednesday, my normal video series. Uh, for the next couple of Wednesdays, we'll be talking about the Texas plumbing license and what's going on with it. If you see any information there that you want to share, please do so. Because we need to get this information out to every plumber in Texas. And to be honest, every homeowner in Texas needs to know what's going on. So hopefully, I will see you at the state capitol on June the 14th. It starts at 11 a.m., and I think it goes for two or three hours. So guys, I will ask you this. Please come, please be respectful, and please let the state of Texas know why our plumbing license is so important. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber, and I'll see you on the next video if we don't get flushed. Thanks.